Okay, so here are my um, chopped green bell peppers here. And this is also my newest toy. This is my Avalon Bay vacuum sealer. And so it's a food sealer. And this is great to have, especially if you do a lot of prep work, you buy things in bulk and especially vegetables that tend to perish really fastly you can chop it up put it in your food sealer and put it into your um, freezer it is a great way to preserve um, items and it's a great space saver so Avalon Bay sent me this food sealer and I'm so happy that they did because I have been interested in this and I have been having a lot of fun with this product so what I'm doing here these bell peppers I'm just gonna simply place them into my food sealer bag and this was this is the three bell peppers that we purchased from Aldi's and I love I like to have all of my items in my freezer that I um, freeze flat I always when I take out my meats out of the original packaging and I put them in my freezer in the freezer bag I always lay them flat and this way I don't have a lot of clutter in my freezer and I can um, neatly um, stack the items in there so here you see I have all of the bell peppers and it's flat and so with the food sealer what you do, you have this lever here. You lift, lift this and you're going to leave, you're going to place it over this lever here. So it's kind of marked. You place that there. Now when you place your food in here to be sealed, you don't want to seal it all the way to the top. You're going to leave about two inches. Um, from the top so that um, it can seal properly so on this vacuum sealer you have several settings you um, you have your vacuum seal and it's also a cancel button you have your speed and you can vacuum seal things on high or low now for high like these um, bell peppers they can be on high speed because they won't crush but I would use the low speed on things like your um, like if you were sealing muffins or cupcakes or something like that that you wanted to um, keep a bread then we also have here we have um, for your food you have dry food or moist food food you have a canister button, so if you want, if you were like jarring something, you could use this button. Pulse back, and this is what you would use if you use this um, button if there was something you wanted to, like the cupcakes, and you just want to pulse it, and so you can just keep pressing this until it gets to the desired um, sealness of the bag that you wanted without smushing or um, crushing your item. And then they have this like seal only when you just want to seal the bag. Now we're going to press the vacuum seal button. And then there's a light here. Once this stops, we wait until the red light goes off. Now this is the way it sealed this, these, and you see it, everything is all flat. This is sealed here at the top. Here we go, it's the top, so everything is sealed. So I have these um, vacuum sealed, and now I'm gonna place them into my freezer. Okay, so now here we have our pork chops, and what I like to do with my pork chops because there's only two of us here now and when I buy pork chops there are usually like six or eight um, chops in the um, carton so this way I can take out my pork chops put out the 
portions for us. So this is two pork chops apiece for myself and Mr. B. And then I have the other two, um, four pork chops here that I will vacuum um, seal um, in another pack. So once again, I'm gonna place my bag here. Click, click. We have our um, saver food saver set on moist and on high and we're going to seal it. Our light has gone off. Release. There we go. Another great feature about this vacuum sealer is that it has a compartment here where you can actually have like a roll of um, vacuum bags here and you can customize the size you just place your vacuum bag here and it has like a razor here where you can cut the, the the bag to size really great feature and once you get the hang of it it is really easy to use it took me a couple of tries and i have um, almost perfected it but my food is vacuum seal and here's the seal part so like I said I think this is a great item to have especially for portion control and you can you don't have to worry about it being frostbitten or anything like that and it's easy storage if you are interested in this food saver I will um, put all the information in the description box below it is it has a real pretty finish here it is the stainless steel so you know you're gonna have to really keep it um, nice and clean from fingerprints but it is a really beautiful design nice to have on your countertops or you can put it away in your closet and bring it out as needed so I would like to thank Avalon Bay for um, selecting me to review this product it has really been a um, great asset to me when I'm prepping our foods as well as when I buy things in bulk. I don't have to worry about putting it in freezer bags and worrying about it getting frostbitten. I can vacuum seal it and put it in my refrigerator. And then like I said, this is great for marinades too. If you want to do any type of marinades in your meats, you can vacuum seal it, put it into your freezer or your refrigerator and then use it and all of your meats are marinated. And it is a really, really great product to have. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video as I shared with you my as how I am prepping and storing the items um, with my Avalon Bay food saver. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.